so dynamic forward proxy is basically um, we extract the so it's like the pretty uh, like the original destination cluster uh, with the like headers, but it does the DNS resolution in addition to that. Um, it's basically a uh, like generic forward proxy for um, non encrypted traffic. Um, like from browsers um, or like other grant uh, like curls. Um, and then the SNI forward proxy is more uh, is for the TOS TCP based uh, services, which Envoy doesn't terminate the, uh, the connection. It does the DNS resolution and send the traffic to the um, to the uh, to what the address is specified in the um, SNI header. This functionality is uh, mostly used in the egress gateway uh, in service mesh context. Um, that you have the egress gateway, you don't terminate the um, TRS connection to whatever the external service is, and having that. Um, yeah, that uh, two use cases, and uh, uh, I can take the last one. With connect support and forward proxy, can browser use this envoy as generic proxy? I I think so. That should be uh, work once we have the connect support. Yeah, I I think basic connect support is actually done, so that that should work today. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's mm -hmm. it's in a release yet. It'll be in one fifteen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah. if you're running a dev build, it, it, it should be there now. Um, in terms of C UDP proxy, I, you know, I, I actually, I'm, you know, we don't, we don't keep track of how people are using various things, um, but it would certainly work for NTP or DNS or really any, any other protocol in which you don't necessarily need fully stateful behavior. So the way that UDP proxy works is it does do um, it does do session affinity, but the session affinity is just based on four tuple. You know, it's just based on port and IP address. So if there were any additional um, protocol specific knowledge required to do stateful hashing, that would not work currently. And that's what I was talking about before about how we want to build in some generic um, stateful hashing mechanism that can look in a UDP packet and hash on specific ranges of bytes. Uh, but that's not implemented currently.